Today was one of the craziest days for LEGO leaks ever, with potentially 2024 release sets including an Eye of Sauron from Lord of the Rings, Rivendell from Lord of the Rings, a Simba, a Donald Duck, an even bigger LEGO Harry Potter Burrow set, a deco art style LEGO Batman Gotham City set, and the X-Men Mansion set, among others, including the most important for my channel and what we're going to be talking about here today, a LEGO Star Wars Ultimate Collector Series Jabba's Sail Barge. And before we talk about that set, you might want to know where these leaks and images come from. Well, apparently LEGO put out a survey on some survey website where users were asked, how much money would you pay for these LEGO sets given a, a piece count? And that's how the survey went. And this is a very interesting survey because obviously it's not something LEGO seems to do all too often because we don't get leaks like this every year. But if this is the way that it happened, it does tell you one thing about LEGO right now, and that is that they are scared. Their sales must have dropped like a rock last year compared to expectations when it came to some of their bigger D2C or direct-to-consumer, or in Star Wars terms, UCS sets. Like those sets, like the Black Panther, like the foosball table, like the Hulkbuster, and potentially many others, obviously didn't sell very well at their very high price points. So Lego's trying to get a feeler out there for what people would pay for some of their upcoming sets. So I am inclined to believe that all of these will release at some point over the next couple of years, including the main set of this video, the UCS Jabba's Sail Barge, which might release at the second half of this year because it's the 40th anniversary of Return of the Jedi, and it would just make sense. Now, what's interesting is that in the survey, it claims that this Jabba's Sail Barge would have 6,500 pieces, which would be absolutely massive, even bigger than I was thinking when we, you know, have talked about previously on the channel, potentially doing a Master Builder Series UCS style Jabba's Sail Barge that would be much like the HasLab version that they made a couple years ago. It could be like 500 bucks at 6,500 pieces. We're looking at six or $700 easy if not 800. I mean, that's crazy for Java Sail Barge, but it would also be an amazing set with tons of figures, and, and I'm sure a lot of people would love that. It would just be crazy expensive. But it claims to be up to 10 inches high, 10 inches wide, and 24 inches long. And having counted the studs, I believe it was about 75 studs in length. But if we look to the Java Sail Barge released in 2013 for $120, this one is apparently eight inches high, eight inches wide, and 16 inches long. So this one that is apparently 6,500 pieces that would obviously cost like $700 is really startlingly close in size to the 2013 version, which leads me to believe that there's something awry with this particular LEGO Star Wars listing, that this picture that we have in, in the leaked image uh, to describe it to you is just a Jabba sail barge with no minifigures on it, no display plaque. It does have a black display stand. It just doesn't have the plaque with the information displayed at this current point in time with the image that we have. And it's also missing like any other accessories that you might expect in a full UCS Java sail barge, like a desert skiff and a Sarlacc pit that if a set was going to have 6,500 pieces and cost seven or $800 and be a Java sail barge, you would expect to be included. So that leads me to believe that this image is more of like a bigger 250 or $300 Java sail barge and that a potential 6,500 piece Java sail barge would be even more massive than what we see here, even more massive than uh, what we see in this like custom box art that I had whipped up for the video. Like I went on Google and I found some mocks of a UCS Java sail barge in gray here, and you can see the gray version is way larger. Like that is what the size I would expect for a true, you know, 6,500 piece, $700 type of set to be for a Java sail barge. But in reality, the leaked image, and it just, just doesn't line up to the piece count, uh, is a set that is like, I don't know, 25% bigger than the existing play sets, not 400% bigger, anywhere close to 6,500 pieces. But we do have a leak of a UCS Java sail barge. It is coming one way or another, it would seem, because all of these sets have obviously gone through a pretty full development process and basically just need their prices nailed down, I guess, at this point, and they want to know what people want for pricing. And again, the leaked version is smaller than what could be the potential final version if it has 6,500 pieces. Like, there's potentially two versions of this sail barge, and they're kind of deciding which one to release, maybe. If I was in charge of LEGO Star Wars right now, I would release, like, a 
$300 UCS Java sale barge, maybe 350 bucks instead of that seven, $800 price tag. It's just a lot of money at this point in time. And the economic conditions being unsure, I think Lego might, you know, might play it a little safer and make a cheaper version, which I'm sure that is what the picture of that has leaked is. And it's a really smooth look. They've actually cleaned up the front end of the sail barge and used uh, plates instead of kind of bricks stacked up, which is a really different design from the 2006 and 2013 models. They just kind of use stacked up bricks to get that shape. But this one looks, I, I don't know if I want to say better. It probably just is better objectively, but you know, I do have that nostalgia for that 2006 version. So, you know, the sails on it, given that it's a preliminary image, uh, do look kind of incomplete. They don't really have any sort of print or design. They're just straight up kind of a brighter orange color. And of course we don't have any open interior shots for this Jabba sail barge. So we really don't get any more information there as far as like what minifigs could be hiding inside or what minifigs like would, would fit in whatever interior spots they put in. And then of course the biggest question that's gonna pop up here is will they make a new Slave Leia? Will they make a new Hut Slayer Leia as they've renamed her? Um, I cannot wait to find out the answer to this because if the answer is no, we won't make this figure that's accurate to this scene from a movie in 1983, there's gonna be controversy. I think there will be far less controversy if they just include the figure because everyone will be like, cool, it's a figure that we like. Like anyone in the Lego Star Wars community I think we'll just be like, cool, this is a figure we wanted. It's nice to see that they're gonna make this. If they don't make it and they don't include it in a ultimate collector series set of that scene, like, it would be a little bit of a disappointment, I think. I mean, we saw how much went down just when they changed the name of the Slave One to Boa Fett Starship. If they're refusing to uh, include Leia in this set because she's in a bikini, I think that's a little ridiculous. So we're gonna have to wait and see on that one, but that's the biggest question mark, other than whether it's gonna be a $300 or like a seven or $800 uh, style of UCS set for Jabba Sail Barge, because they certainly can go either way with this one. But let me know what you think in the comments section below. If you were able to find the image online and see the leak of the Jabba Sail Barge for yourself, let me know what you thought of that image. And if you agree with me that it definitely looks small for 6,500 pieces and assuming like a $700 price tag. If you guys enjoyed, hit the like button if you channel subscribe so you don't miss my review on the UCS Java sale barge when it comes out in 2023 or 2024. See you later.